Ray Hemel here to testify on Senate Bill 8, and I'm with the Texas Public Employees Association. Earlier, I know you heard from Ann, and she put a face on uh, state employees, but just you also heard from other witnesses about state employees, prison guards. And you can imagine in jobs that are already so very dangerous that to lose 70 of your fellow officers to COVID on top of that, how, how uh, much of a test of their devotion to their jobs that has been. Um, so we're asking you to consider state employees in the context of, this great, of the great needs that are there. And we do appreciate the difficult decision you face. Senator Perry, I, I look at you for all the state employees you have in your district, but I'm also thinking of the thousand state employees who wish that you were back in San Angelo having your annual uh, State Employee Appreciation Day. Um, and I, that's been a great event. But uh, we uh, two numbers to, to remember. Um, the last across the board raised for state employees was September of 2014. And since then, inflation, as you yourselves have pointed out, has exceeded 15%. This year, it's probably going to hit 5 or 6%. So you can imagine that a dollar then, you know, that's now worth 80 cents, in a, in really. Um, turnover is already above 18% pretty much across the board of state employment. And that is a cost. That is an actual cost to you as employers. We can't look to any other entity but, you know, yourselves to try and retain quality workforce. So uh, I ask you uh, uh, as at this late hour to please give some consideration to, to your state employees, your employees. Thank you very much for all you have done, Senator Huffman for, uh, and Senator Nelson, for state employees' retirement. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, ma'am.